There are a couple ways to solve this question. Um, my instinct just kicks in of like plug points into equations because that's just what I'm always thinking about. I clearly have a point and I actually have an equation if I can just make it up, right? So they're talking about lines. So I know the linear equation, just keep it simple, y equals mx plus b. And we could probably use Desmos here. There's ways of doing like the regression line and, and playing with a slider, maybe if we really wanted to, but I, I think it's just easier to kind of plug points in. So what do we have? Well, we definitely have the slope, right? So we can put that in for m. But remember, anytime we have a point, doesn't matter what that point is, we can plug it in for the x and the y. So zero is equal to negative five thirds times negative six plus b. So if you're bothered by the fraction, you can put that in the calculator and you should be fine, but also it's not that hard to reduce. We have the two negatives are gonna cancel. The three is gonna reduce with the six to a two. So zero equals 10 plus b. But be careful here, right? 10 is not the answer. We gotta subtract 10 over and now negative 10 is equal to b. And what did they want? They wanted the y-intercept of the line. So the b in y equals mx plus b is the y-intercept. There's nothing else to be done here. If for some reason they wanted like another point or like, I don't really know, then I might go to Desmos, graph the line that I found, you know, in this case, y equals negative five thirds x minus 10, and then use the properties of the, the line on the graph to kind of figure it out. I, I might do that. But the point is here, and I guess in lots of cases on the SAT, just remember plug points into equations works even when we don't have an equation because there are a handful of equations that we were supposed to memorize. And so it's sometimes very, very clear. We just need to use one of those. So lines are a great example of this. Just if it's about lines, write Y equals MX plus B on your scratch paper. Eyes are good. You're going to use it.